welcome back everyone we're doing another video on anchor i just thought i'd share my thoughts as well as look at the new technical charts uh, based off of the unprecedented move we've seen in cryptos over the past day and a half um, and this is what caused basically anchor and other coins altcoins as well as bitcoin to drop by over 30 percent okay so this this guy was trading at around 16 cents uh, and within the day, it was at eight cents at its lowest point, or sorry, close to even like seven cents flat here, uh, which represents, of course, over a 50% fluctuation uh, in the anchor coin price in one day. So you want to talk about volatility? Well, there you have it. Uh, you look at Bitcoin, it was trading at $46,000. Uh, and at one point, it reached $32,000, which represented a, a more than 30% downwards move. You want to talk about talk about a meme coin. Dogecoin was trading at around fifty cents. Uh, now trading at or went to trade at twenty seven cents. Now back up to forty cents. A lot of people are actually taking uh, Dogecoin seriously and not much as a, as a meme coin, anyways. But today we're going to be talking about Anchor Coin. Uh, my price prediction, what I see in the technicals, uh, as well as any moves that I will be making. Okay, so first let's try to understand what Anchor Coin is uh, in general. So again, I'm still trying to understand what the heck anchor coin is um one thing that it's taking advantage of is the ethereum 2 network uh, on on like a web 3.0 type platform uh, where web 3.0 is web 2.0 on steroids so basically using computer and, and machine learning to um basically drive the internet okay so what you can do is stake nodes with the anchor platform right now they have around 2700 stakers staking I think around 4,048,000 uh, Ethereum. And what you can do is basically pool your money with other stakers and you can earn interest on staking procedures. Uh, so it's basically like earning interest on your money, except you're earning interest on uh, your Ethereum that you own and you get paid out in Ethereum. Um, as well as you have developer APIs to build Web3 products. Uh, so basically, and enterprise solutions, so turnkey infrastructure solutions for cryptocurrency exchanges. So again, I think the way to simplify it is what I would say is that they uh, use free computing power um, and from from stagnant laptops or just computing space. And what they do is they create basically like a cloud infrastructure to basically validate um, validate blockchains, right? So basically, whenever someone does a transaction on the blockchain. Uh, you need someone to validate it, and in order to do that, you require power. So they they use idle computing power to actually um, validate those those transactions. So yeah, that's basically what Anchor is, and because of their uh, basically limitless applications in terms of you know let's say you want to do something that's cloud based that requires computing instead of looking to Amazon AWS or Microsoft's Azure, you could actually look to uh, the anchor blockchain. Okay. So, so many exciting applications and not many people are also talking about anchor, which also makes it more exciting because, uh, once potentially with the big money pouring in, uh, the price could shoot up. So let's just take a look at what anchor is looking like right now. So of course this was a pretty massive dip here, uh, from all the way 16 cents back down one time it was below it was like seven cents flat and then back up again here so uh that's just the seven day um seven day price of anchor coin so right now trading at 13 cents which represents a 25 percent move uh, on the 24 hour uh and market cap is just under one billion dollars so again that's what i mean like uh when you're looking at anchor this is a pretty relatively small market cap and it ranks number 96 in terms of uh market rank by market cap so um yeah, pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, and total value locked is 123 um, million. Okay, so let's take a look at some price predictions. I mean, I've been trying to read price predictions. Uh, I mean, this site here, Ripple Coin News, is saying that it, it's expected to experience a growth surge selling at $1.50 before the close of 2024. Uh, giving it a 70 whatever percent gain. So that would be a huge move considering that the price right now was 13 cents. Uh, and then they're also saying that it could start trading at 26 cents. So huge volatility as we're seeing in these coins. Um, and I am interested in buying Aircoin. So I actually tried to buy on the dip. Uh, however, I'm very frustrated with Binance. Binance, first of all, didn't allow me to buy it because it, it, it doesn't support TD uh, and I'm from Canada. 
So I tried to go on Coinbase. I made a Coinbase account. Um, the first thing I noticed yesterday was that the price was 16 cents. Uh, well, this isn't Canadian, but even when you transfer it to US, it's still like 15 cents. But Anchor Coin right now is at 13 cents, not 15 cents. So that's one thing that's like kind of off to me right now. And even yesterday, it was it was showing that even though the uh, Anchor Coin was like seven cents, it showed like 14 cents. And I was like, come on, are you, are you kidding me? And also when you can spend up to $300, which I would want to buy more, uh, especially considering you have, are you kidding? $11.51 Canadian, okay? Like, like, it's like we're back in the 2000s now where with each transaction you make on a stock, you have to pay $10, okay? That's what happened with like TD Bank and that's why I'm slowly switching over to Wealthsimple, which is the Canadian version of, um, of Robinhood, okay? Like, I'm not paying 4% on my $300 transaction and I can't even buy more than $300, Right. And again, I did this math of how much anchor was was left over. Uh, and again, it was like 15 point like seven cents or whatever, which is a lot more than the price that's being stated on Binance and uh, and, and other sites like here, which is sorry, uh, right here, which is also, you know, 13.2. This is 13.2. Like, come on. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if anyone has any good brokers please let me know down below in the description, preferably ones that, uh, of course, you don't have to pay a fee whenever you spend $300 on Anchor because, you know, that means then now I need a 4% move upwards in order to just break even. And then I need another 4% move upwards in order to, uh, I'm assuming, to sell this thing and to uh, deposit it back into my bank account. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not really liking that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough of that. So yeah, please let me know down in the description if there's anything better than Binance or uh, or Coinbase for buying. Um, so, cause I missed out on a massive opportunity here. I was gonna put in a grand of uh, worth of anchor. Um, but yeah, let's move on to technicals. L is my short-term and long-term price predictions. So of course right here would have been a fantastic buying opportunity, even if you waited uh, for, for the bar to drop below the Bollinger Band. So by the way, th these are Bollinger Bands, 21-day uh, moving averages in the middle, and the upper and lower uh, chart right here, or, or the lines right here represent the two standard deviations above and below um, the 21 day moving average. So what I recommend, uh, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, please do your own due diligence before buying and selling stocks. This is just for fun. But basically what I was trying to do was wait for, uh, either the bar or the whiskers, whiskers to go below, um, below the lower Bollinger band, because generally what happens is the price tends to go up after. And this is exactly what happened. Uh, so basically, if you bought at, let's say, 11 cents, even now you would have been profitable because the stock right now or the coin right now is at 13 cents. Um, so basically, what, what you do is you wait for, again, either the bar or whiskers to go past the Bollinger Band and buy in this range uh, and then wait for the stock to go up. And, and it's very, very simple. Uh, and you could potentially have accumulated a pretty strong or a long position here where, where you just, you know, accumulate shares here and just wait for a year or something. But if you're a short-term trader, you could accumulate shares here and sell again when it's like at 13 cents. Um, and of course, the more you buy, the more you profit. Not if you can only put in like $300, like, come on, like, what a joke, you know? Oh man, I'm so frustrated. Um, but basically what I'm seeing right here is again, um, this green candle. I think honestly, we could see a reverse pattern. Uh, we see kind of like a fish hook pattern, but I think we could honestly see a reverse in that the price of this altcoin moves lower. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is because I think that there was a huge move upwards in Bitcoin. And I don't think that it's, it's well, in cryptocurrency in general. And I just don't think that the consolidation, all the consolidation has happened yet in the market. So um, I think it honestly might track downwards uh, and, and potentially even go past the lower Bollinger Band again. So um, I would wait if you haven't got a position in Anchor Coin yet. Uh, because I could it could potentially move further. Uh, but what you could do if you're a very cautious investor is again still wait. Uh, and if the stock the the coin price does hit the upper Bollinger Band, uh, wait for it to come back down to the lower Bollinger Band and then buy in. Uh, so yeah, you, you may not want to buy in just in case this is kind of like a fake out and it goes lower. Um, but you may want to buy in if if you believe that it, it would be passing. So personally, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be hearing your suggestions on what broker you like to use for crypto that uh, hopefully is low fee uh, and then see what happens to this green candle and then potentially accumulate uh, about a thousand dollars worth of, of anchor coin. 
Um, and looking at the volume here, of course, we see saw a bit of a spike in volume because everyone is selling and now it's back up to a green day kind of normal volume, but still low volume relative to when this coin was like at 22 cents. So uh, and right now, relative strength index sitting at around a 50. So kind of neither overbought nor oversold. So kind of, you know, in equilibrium. So uh, I would say all taken together, it could go either way. Um, it could either move upwards or move downwards. Uh, I think it will, might move downwards back down closer to this lower Bollinger Band and hopefully I can buy in. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, welcome to the community. And as well, you can check out a couple of links down below. So for example, uh, to my free Discord, as well as a Wealthsimple link if you're Canadian and you like to buy and sell stocks. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just support me in any way possible. Reach out to me, say hi, and uh, Cheers, take care, love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.